DLRs, what's going on? Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. In today's video, we're going to show you how to install a paper towel rack to a cabinet inside your kitchen. Let's get started. All right, DLRs inside the kitchen now, and here is our current setup. Just to the left of the coffee maker and toaster, we've got our paper towel basically just hanging out in the corner there. And what we want to do is install a little rack to have it hang right here. And coming back to the countertop here, here is what we are going to install. I'll go ahead and open everything up. Here it is out of the box and we chose the brushed nickel finish. I really like this. And this side right here has an adhesive portion and we're going to be able to stick this where we want it, apply pressure for 30 seconds and it also has an option for screws. And chances are we are going to install the hardware to have a much better solid secured connection to the wood that we screw this into. Next, I went ahead and unpackaged the hardware. You've got some drywall anchors, some caps, an Allen wrench, and some screws. I'm going to grab one of these screws. I want to see if the screw will actually come through the top portion of the inside cabinet wood. And unfortunately, it kind of looks like it does. So I might head to the toolbox and try to find some smaller screws. Back from the toolbox and here's what I found. As you can see, my replacement screws are just a little bit shorter. And the most important thing is you wanna make sure that the screw is the same diameter because you've gotta fit them through these little plastic tabs there. And those are for these little caps to go over and snap onto to hide the screw for better presentation and finish. And that diameter is important when it comes time to being able to screw through the actual base or mount of your towel rack or holder. So I feel good about that. Step number one, choose smooth, flat surface, clean with alcohol or water, and dry. We've already done that. We are going to remove the adhesive, which is right here. And the instructions say, heat the self-adhesive tape slightly with a hair dryer. So that's what I've got. And that might be more important for those that just use the adhesive to secure this towel holder as opposed to using these screws. However, we're gonna do it anyways. Then we'll get in position and push the towel holder in place and apply pressure for 30 seconds to properly allow this adhesive to seat to the surface. We are now ready to apply the towel holder to the underside of the cabinet. And before I forget, on the back side is an Allen screw. That is where you use the Allen wrench. You can actually remove this entire bar that extends outward and hold your paper towel. It might be easier to install this part to whatever surface you are installing it to without this long bar. However, we are going to keep it installed. We are going to put the paper towel on the bar and place it where we want it. Paper towel is now on the bar and we are ready to go. And I'm going to place this. I'll probably use both hands to ensure I'm placing it properly and straight. I'm now in the 30 second time frame of applying pressure to properly seat that adhesive. Making progress DORs. I like the placement of that. We are now going to secure it with the screws. Take note of the shape of those little plastic inserts and one side is flat and the other side has a deep indent. And that is the side that you will slide the screw into. And as you can see, that's what it is supposed to look like. I removed the paper towel and I'm going to stay away from power drills. I'm just going to carefully screw in both the screws. And as you screw this tight, try not to scratch your bar and do not over tighten the screw because you will compress that little plastic ring and damage it. And if you damage it, the cap might not go on. Screws are secure. Again, do not over tighten it. And now you've got these little caps for the finish. And just carefully apply some friendly pressure and you've got two of them. And that looks good. It hides the screws and those little plastic inserts. And then you slide your paper towel right on the bar. And it's got this really cool hook at the very end of that bar to alleviate your paper towel falling or sliding off that bar as you pull it. So that's really cool. And DIYers, that is it from here. I'll realign everything and show you the end product. And here it is, the end result. And that is going to work out great. Another tip I recommend, use a fresh brand new paper towel as opposed to a half used roll and that is to ensure you have the proper clearance between the wall and your bar or holder. The last thing you wanna do is insert that and secure it with the screws and adhesive, only to find out a brand new paper towel will not fit on because it is too large. That would be no fun. From here, DIYers, as you can see, pretty friendly DIY project. From here, do us a favor, below the video, you will see that thumbs up icon, click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. And before I forget, the screws themselves did not puncture the top part of the wood, and that's good.